just, mm, that was ugly. The one hand. Hey guys, no, that was uh, cut. Act up, nigga get snatched up, period. 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 Oh. Period. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your Terry and if you don't know, now you know. If you're new, welcome. Hey girl, hey. Today I filmed this super duper cute glossy lid. Okay, do you, do you, do you see? Do you, like, do you see this, sis? We're popping. We're cute, okay? Like, we look date night ready all right so if you want to see how i achieve this look and if you want to hear about my worst date night experience then keep watching this video basically i'm doing three things in this video for y'all so the first thing that i'm going to do is tackle this makeup look you know is that glossy eye look i really want to do that so i'm gonna do that first so i can focus on that so it can come out nicely what the heck? Then I'll be telling you guys about the worst date experience I've ever had in my life. And then after that, we'll continue with the date night look, you know? So without further ado, let's just get started, okay? I'll just clip my hair out of the way because one of my got time for that. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color warm honey and I'm gonna put that on my lids just to give me a base I'm not even doing a popping color or nothing but like this is just always what I do so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and guys please disregard this fat urge pimple on my face but I'm gonna blend this out with the small side of my 202 brush from Sephora mm-hmm yes ma'am Y'all, I can't wait until I finish this eye look so I can get into this story because, honey, like, nine times out of ten, you're gonna laugh. It's funny. Like, I'll be looking back on moments in my life and I was just like, I just, blah, 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 blah. I just be like, girl, what did you used to go through? Like, I, I really been through some stuff. It's come to think about it. Hmm. Now I'm gonna take this single eyeshadow from MAC. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's just in the color cork and it looks like this it's really close to my skin tone which is what i'm going for and i'm going to take this bh cosmetics v5 brush i don't know why i'm trying to show y'all this like and i'm going for like the simple look because this is supposed to be a date night situation you know so while cork is like literally my skin tone it literally looks like i don't have nothing on it looks like no, we need something else, hold on. To deepen this up just a bit, I'm gonna take the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Um, it looks like this, and don't mind all that. But I'm gonna take the color Whiskey, which is this dark chocolate right here, with the same exact brush, just to deepen up the eye look a little bit. Ooh, that's very pigmented, okay. Hey buddy, we're gonna have to blend until this looks better. So once I had that blended out, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna mix these two cause I can't pick one, but I'm gonna mix these two shades and I'm gonna go in with the um, Urban Decay Naked brush and I'm just gonna put that on like this part of my lid. I'm just gonna blend that out as much as possible. <sighs> Honestly, truly, I don't know how this look is about to go, but I believe in myself, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep winging it, and we're gonna see how it comes out, cause it could come out looking really amazing, you know? You, you never know, so let's just keep going. Now I'm gonna do something that I have not done in a really, really long time, which is a wing liner. So I'm gonna use the Clinique um, Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. And I'm gonna attempt to do a wing, okay? I haven't done one in a really long time, so if it comes out trash, you know, uh, just, uh, let's just see. Let's just see how it comes out, okay?
I hate it. No, it's like too straight out. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Let's see if I can do the other side and then maybe I'll like redo that one. Okay, I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. So I just got some concealer and I made it go up a little bit more than I extended it. And now it looks a little better. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So it's lit. Um, now I'm about to put on some mascara and some falsies and I will be right back. Okay, so boom, we're back and we're better, period. We got on our mascara and our lashes and we're cute. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So now, I don't even need to be doing it because I don't even got no nails on. But now it's time to add, oh my God, I almost dropped something. Now it's time to add the lip gloss. Okay, come on, let's do this. Let's do this. We got this, we got this, we got this. So this is the lip gloss that I'm gonna use. It's NK Lip Gel, Clear Lip Gel with Vitamin E. And then I'm just going to put it on this little eyeshadow brush because I use this lip gloss, okay? So I'm not trying to mess up my applicator. So we're gonna put it everywhere except for where our liner is. And then like try to blend it out. My hair keep getting in the way. Move, motherfucker, you in there, way. I probably should have did this before I put lashes on because it's a little difficult to see. But y'all, this is easy to do. Go get your popcorn, go get your little snack because it's story time, okay? Period. Like, so right now we're gonna jump right into the story time. It's not really gonna be too much of a tutorial anymore. But if you're curious as to what I'm using throughout the video, just go check the description box down below. It'll have all the information, okay? All right, sis, so let's get into the tea. So, my worst dating experience ever was during my third year of college. Let me give y'all some background information, okay? So look, how I met the person that I went on this terrible date with. We gonna call him Shorty, cause I don't even feel like thinking of no crazy names. So we gonna call him Shorty. So I believe Shorty was in his, he was either in his second or third year of college and I was in my first. And he is in a fraternity. And at the moment, my best friend at the time was messing around with one of his spare brothers or whatever. So one day she over my place, she's um, in my dorm room, and she asked me to curl her hair. Why she asked me to curl her hair to basically go to her dick appointment, I have no idea. But she asked me to curl her hair, so I was like, sure girl, yeah, come over. I remember I was doing like long curls and she has a lot of hair, so it took a little time. So her little, her little, her little boo-boo at the moment had FaceTime her while she was still getting her hair done by me. So at the time he was around his frat brother, Shorty. So he was, he was around Shorty. So Shorty in the background talking about something, hey, she wanna come through too, like this that and the third, we can both come get y'all, we can spark y'all up, this that and the third, like she wanna come hang with us. And I'm like, no, literally no. Um, I have a boyfriend for one, and I feel like you know that, cause everyone knew that. And for two, even if I didn't have a boyfriend, I'm not coming to see you. Like, I don't know you, boy. What I look like coming to you while my friend basically getting her cheeks clapped. Like, no. <laughs> no. So that was basically his first time shooting his shot, if we want to call it that. And ever since then, he was trying his hand so freaking hard. He would always ask to take me on dates. He would always ask to do some crazy thing. Girl, it was just too much, okay? And the answer was always no. No, 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 because I always had a boyfriend. So, during my third year of college, I'm finally like single, single. So I was like, all right, 
Jeter is single and she in college. It's time to play these niggas. Like, it's time to, it's time to finesse, basically. If you want to take me on a date, sure, why not? That's a free meal. Uh, you ain't getting these cheeks. We ain't, we ain't doing none of that. Finally, after three years, basically, of him attempting to take me on a date, he finally catched me on a good day. And we was like, I don't remember what social media it was, but basically we had been like DMing each other all day and that led to texting each other and stuff. He asked me to go get some food with him and he was gonna spark me up. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Because So basically the black community at my school is small. So everybody know each other and everybody know like little things about each other and everybody knew that i could not drive like everybody know i don't drive everybody know I'm from dc if you're from dc nine times out of ten you don't drive on the regular or you don't know how to drive simply because we have access available everywhere you turn a corner and it's a bus stop you turn a corner and it's a train station like and if you actually drive somewhere it's going to take you twice the amount of time to get there because there's so much traffic so this is the first thing that blew me about him and like it kind of irritated me because he was like all right bet i know where we should go eat at i forgot where we want to go eat at but he was like I know where we should go eat at. So like, maybe you could like meet me at some or so, we could spark up and then go get some food. And I'm sitting in my room like, this nigga has known me for three years. Why is he playing right now? Like, like he playing right now as if he don't know that I don't drive. Like, are you stupid or are you trying to be funny? Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm not getting the joke. Like, are you trying to be funny? So I'm gonna meet me here. Like, boy, you know I don't drive, stop playing with me. Like, you better come scoop me. I'm not going, period. Like, I could do better things with my time. Like, stop playing. So I literally responded to him and I was like, what? I was like, meet you where? I was like, houseway, you know I don't drive. He was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Boy, you know I don't drive. Like, don't make me slap your big ass. Like, I'm not playing. Like, you know I don't drive, so don't play me. And then, even if I did drive, if you ask to take me on a date, don't you think, like, isn't it courteous for the person, the male, nine times out of ten, to, like, come pick you up, pay for the meal, take you back home, and things like that? Or am I tripping? Like, where's the, the, um, chivalry? Like, or am I, like, old school or something? Do do people not do this anymore? So off rip, I'm annoyed. And he was like, oh yeah, my bad, I forgot. Um, Well, I'm just gonna come scoop you at this time if that's okay, and then we can go. I was like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Now, that was the first straw, right? So at this point, I'm in a car, I'm hungry. At this point, I'm hangry. And I'm like, where are we gonna eat at? Because <laughs> I don't have time, like, Sir, I'm really not here for your shenanigans. Like, so he started driving. We sparked up in his car and then we get to the place. Also, a thing that like threw me off, I didn't dress no kind of way. Like, say for example, this shirt I got on right now. If I was to wear something like this and he was to be like looking at me a certain way the whole time, then I would have understood it. But y'all, uh, I had on like a regular regular shirt, I think with some jeans. And Shorty was just staring from like, hair down the entire time and was like making faces and I'm just like what 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 because you ain't getting nada like what are you looking at like dang hello I'm right here like that was just another thing that threw me off like so we sit down we eat y'all right <sighs> the way this man ate his food literally disgusting okay when i tell y'all i have never been more thrown off in my life like if you know me i kind of have a phobia when it comes to like spit and throw up i hate it so the way he ate his food he would like lick his lips after every bite and it would be like so much spit on his ugh! it was so much spit on his lips and as he would take bites and it was just like accumulating and like it was just so wet looking and then he didn't chew his mouth closed and it was just so many things wrong with the way that man ate 
and like we're on a date so obviously we sat like right across from each other and y'all i couldn't take it i know he felt me looking at his mouth in disgust like like i didn't even have an appetite no more i'm high i got the munchies i'm in a restaurant and i don't got an appetite all because of you because you eat like a freaking animal he asked me if I want if there was like anything else that I wanted to do and I was like nah like <laughs> I'm ready to go home. So he was like alright I'm gonna go pull up the car so you don't gotta walk because the, the car was like in a parking lot. So he was like I'm gonna go get the car so you don't have to walk it's dark outside you know. I'm gonna pull up and we can leave. I'm like okay maybe maybe he's turning around. One point for shorty okay because that was that was cool. I fucked with that. So I thought I did. So girl. I don't know how long it took him to go get that daggone car, but it took him so long. I'm like, did, did Shorty leave me? Like, did he pull off and just like F her or something? Like, I'm really just standing there with my food in my box, my to-go box. And I'm just standing there waiting for him like, bruh, where are you at? Like, I was getting so annoyed, y'all didn't even understand. Hold on, let me, let me set my concealer because I'm really getting into this story. One moment. Okay, now that that's done, where was I at in this dad one story? Oh yeah, so he got me waiting, y'all. Like, just waiting. So finally he comes back. After 5,000 years. And he was like, oh yeah, my bad. I ran into somebody that I knew, blah, blah, blah. He ran into some, some nigga. I'm like, I don't give a flying fuck. Just take me home. Like, I don't care about your excuse or none of that. Like, none of that. So, y'all, now we're, like, walking back to his car or whatever. And we get in the car and he asked me something. He said something like, you sure you want to go home or something? Y'all, I looked at him like, what you think I'm going to go back with you? With your slobby lip ass? No, I don't want to go nowhere with you. Leave me alone. Please take me home. Don't talk to me no more. Like, bruh. Like, y'all really don't understand. I really rue that day. I really rue that day. But, yeah, y'all. That basically wraps up my story time of the worst date ever. That was probably my karma for going out on a date. Trying to cop a meal knowing I wasn't gonna like the person. That was probably God telling me to chill out, and I understand. Um, but yeah, y'all, all I did was went and touched up my hair, and that really concludes this video and this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give me a like. Make sure you comment down below and make sure you subscribe. And when you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video when I upload. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Well,